Do you want to go out for a walk with me or somewhere? Kelly Hopkinson's care home has spare beds. And the government thinks care homes like hers can help to ease the NHS winter crisis. I do have quite a few empty beds and I'm, I'm willing to help when we can. Smiling down. <laughs> Love you. They want to move thousands of patients who are well enough into care homes to free up hospital beds. Kelly says she's ready, but no one has called. I could take two a day, you know, if I make sure I've got enough staff. I've got 17 empty beds sat there. I've had no contact. I haven't had one inquiry through today, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know why they're not making contact if they're under that much pressure. Steve Barclay hopes these measures will ease pressure on a buckling health service and that some of the 13,000 people across England occupying hospital beds, despite being medically fit to discharge, can now be moved safely into the community. We will block book beds in residential homes to enable around 2,500 people to be released from hospitals where they are medically fit to be discharged. When combined with the ramping up of the 500 million discharge funding, uh, it will unblock, uh, which will unblock an estimated one to 2,000 delayed discharge cases, capacity on wards will be freed up. Health leaders say the government's move fails to address the root cause, a workforce crisis in the health and social care sectors. Although people might not need treatment for the reason they came into hospital no, any longer, they still have multiple comorbidities, so multiple illnesses. They might have frailty or dementia. And putting these patients who might need ongoing medical care, putting them into a social care setting puts more pressure on that sector. Absolutely. So we know that particularly district nursing services are really, really very stretched, and so is general practice. There are serious issues in capacity, and those are the workforces that would generally look after people in the home. The move will create some desperately needed capacity. But the warning for the government is that this is a short-term fix at best and not a long-term solution for the NHS. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.